Hi guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. So I have my little helper here with me today. <laughs> you wanna say hi? Hi. Um, we're at Walgreens and I drove to the next town over so I'm gonna be able to film in here for you guys, which you know, I love being able to do. Plus we have a deal on, let me put you guys up here, hold on. <laughs> We got a deal on toilet paper and paper towels, which you know that my store does not carry. So they should hopefully have it at this store. So I got a backpack for my Barbie. Yeah. It's a little sparkly. And you want to show them what else you got? You got some bracelets. And I got bracelets. Yeah. And tomorrow, um, my I'm going to have a birthday party. And she, uh, yeah, we're going to have her birthday party tomorrow. She's excited, right? Yeah. So we just went to CVS. She got a couple little souvenirs. Um, I scored a bunch of toilet paper, which I'm going to have to insert into this video so you guys can run um, to CVS because so many hot toilet paper deals at CVS right now. So yeah, she picked up a little and hear the sound. birthday gifts. Hear the sound. It's so <laughs> good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go into Walgreens. Remember, there's going to be a printable list in the description box below, so feel free to use that to help you do your shopping. It's going to have all the deals typed out in a list. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alicia. I would absolutely love to have you subscribe. And my name is Elena. Your name is Elena. So make sure you hit the subscribe button down below along with the post notification bell so that when I post new videos, you can be notified and you can go and get the deals. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and leave me some comments down below. Let me know what deals you're grabbing at Walgreens this week and what you're excited for. You ready to go? <laughs> All right, let's go couponing. Okay, you guys, so the first deal we're gonna pick up is the Charmin and the Bounty. They have plenty in stock, so I'm excited. So these are not tagged at this store, but they're actually on sale for $4.99 each. And buy four, get back a $6 register award this week. So the Charmin is included, the Bounty paper towels over there, and then the Tide products as well. So I have a couple different scenarios for you guys in the printable list. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab four of the paper products. Um, I'm gonna grab two Charmin and two Bounty. So I'm gonna grab two of the Charmin. And then we're also gonna grab two of the Bounty paper towels. Which I don't even know if these are all gonna fit. Okay, we got it to fit. So our total for all four of these is gonna be $19.96. We are going to use two $1 coupons for the Bounty and two $1 coupons for the Charmin. These just came out in today's PNG insert. So after that, we're gonna pay $15.96 for all four and get back a $6 register reward for buying all four, making it $9.96 for all four or $2.49 a pack. So definitely a stock up price on those. Okay, next deal we're gonna do is on the Irish Spring or you can also do the soft soap or you can mix and match. So basically, these are on sale three for 10. When you buy three, you get back $5 in Walgreens cash. So. We actually just got a new three off two digital coupon this morning on the Walgreens app for these for both the soft soap and the Irish spring. So this is going to be a much better deal than what we thought. So we're going to grab three. Like I said, you can mix and match if you want to. We're going to use the three off two digital coupon for two of them. Then for the third one, we're going to use a 75 cent paper coupon that just came in today's smart source. Or I think we also have a 75 cent digital you could use. So after that, you're gonna pay $6.25 for all three, get back $5 in Walgreens cash, making it just $1.25 for all three of these or 41 cents each. So that's definitely a great deal. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna get three of those or mix and match. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get three of these because my husband really likes this Irish spring body wash. So I'm gonna stock up. I don't remember which scent he likes better. So I'm just gonna kind of get both. Okay, so a really hot deal this week that I'm not going to do because they only have one in stock right here. It's on the Gillette deodorant. So these are included in a promotion this week for buy three, get back a $5 register award. And it includes like a bunch of other items too. But these are on sale too for 11. So you're going to want to pick up two of these and make sure it's the invisible solid and not the gel. You're going to use a buy one, get one free paper coupon that just came in today's PNG. And then we also have an Ibotta rebate for $1.50 back on each one of these. So you're gonna get $3 back from Ibotta. Then the third item you're gonna buy for this promotion for the buy three, get five is you can pick the Oral-B toothbrush or you can grab one of the Crest toothpaste. We got $2 off paper coupons for each one of these in the PNG insert. So go ahead and pick up one of these. So your total for the Gillette deodorants for two of them and then one of the Oral-B is gonna be $14.99. Is that right? 
yeah, $14.99. You're gonna use your buy one, get one free Gillette coupon, so that's gonna take off $5.49, and then your $2 off one for the Oral-B. And that is gonna leave you to pay $7.50 for both deodorants and the toothbrush. You're gonna earn back this $5 register award for buying three participating items. And then you're gonna submit your receipt to Ibotta for $3 back on the deodorants, which is gonna make all three items completely free and a 50 cent money maker. So super bummed that I can't do it at this store. I'm gonna go ahead and check my local store and see if maybe they have any of the deodorants in stock. Another deal that you can do is on the Colgate toothpaste. These are on sale for $3.99 each this week, and when you buy two, you're gonna get back $5 in Walgreens cash. Now, we did get a new digital coupon this morning on the Walgreens app for $3 off of two of them. So, that's gonna make this a freebie because you're gonna grab two for $7.98. After your $3 digital coupon, you're gonna pay $4.98 and get back $5 in Walgreens cash, making it free. And since this says buy two, you can pay with Walgreens cash and you're still gonna get your Walgreens cash back. So I'm probably gonna pass on this deal just because I have so much toothpaste and I'm starting to get to the point where I don't really wanna buy it unless it's like a money maker. So, but if you need toothpaste, definitely get some free toothpaste this week at Walgreens. Now, another option that you can do for the Colgate deal are the toothbrushes. These are included as well. They're on sale $3.99 and buy two, get back $5 in Walgreens cash. So grab two of them for $7.98. We did get $1 paper coupons in today's Smart Source insert, so you could use two of these. So after these, you'd pay $5.98 for both and get back the $5 in Walgreens cash, making it um, 98 cents for two or 49 cents each. And since this deal is offering back Walgreens cash and not a register reward, you can do the toothbrushes and the Colgate toothpaste in the same transaction, and you'll get back $10 total in Walgreens cash. Okay, another deal you can do this week, I actually placed mine for curbside pickup, so I'll show you like the receipt and everything when we get done, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you in the store so I can show you the items. So these are buy one, get one half off this week, and when you buy two, you get back a $4 register reward. So the reason why I did it online is because these in store are priced at $4.99, but online they're $2.99, so it's a little bit cheaper. And if you do curbside pickup, you can still get your register award back. So what I did was I just picked up one of these because they only had one in stock at my local store. And then I picked up one of the tweezers. These are $3.79 here, but online they're $3.49. So that brought me to $4.98 for both. I had a $1.50 off digital coupon in the Walgreens app. That left me to pay $3.48. And then I did get back my $4 register award, so that makes this, I think, a 52 cent money maker. So definitely a great deal this week, and it's even better if you can do it online. All right, next we're gonna grab some Almay wipes. I found these in a totally different section. They weren't like with the cosmetics at this store. So, so these are included in the same promotion as the Revlon. So they're buy one, get one half off, and then buy two, get back a $4 register award. So we're gonna grab two of these, they're $5.99. That's gonna bring us to $8.98. I do have a 3 off 2 printable that I printed on coupons.com a while ago. I don't think these are available anymore. If you don't have this, you might check your digital coupons. I know there's a 3 off 2 on my husband's account, so, so check that and see if you might have it. So after this, we're going to pay $5.98 for both. We're going to get back a $4 register award for buying two, making it $1.98. And then we have a $3 rebate on Ibotta for buying both of these. So it's going to make these completely free and a $1 money maker. Oh my gosh, look what I just found. So if there's ever anything that's like out of stock, always just like walk around the store and look at all the end caps because this has happened to me so many times where I thought they were out of something and then I find it in a random spot. So here they are right here. These are the ones that are included. They're two for 11. So we're gonna go ahead and grab two of these. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab our 399 toothbrush. Okay, so. Once again, our total for all three items is going to be $14.99. We're going to use our two off for the Oral-B and our buy one, get one free for the Gillette. That's going to leave us to pay $7.50 out of pocket, or you can use Walgreens cash to pay. Then you're going to get back a $5 register award for buying all three, and then $3 back on Ibotta for the Gillette. So that's going to make these free and a 50 cent money maker. So really happy that I found these. Okay, so I was going to do the Icy Hot deal, but I can't find it at this store, so I think I'm going to place that for curbside pickup at my local store, so I will show you guys that deal in the car. So I think this is it for this store. I'm going to be using this $8 paper booster for $8 Walgreens cash when I spend $35, and then I also have a digital booster for spend $20, get back $5, so these are going to stack together, so I'm going to go to checkout and I'll let you guys know how everything goes in the car. 
Okay, so I'm done with Walgreens now. I'm at my local store because the other store did not have the Icy Hot that I needed, so I decided to order it online for curbside pickup at this store. So I got that, so I'm done with my deals. Um, I got a little story time for you. So the other store was interesting at checkout. The problem with going to a new store is the cashiers don't know me. Like this store I've been going to for over two years straight, the cashiers know me very well here. Um, and they're very familiar with, you know, the fact that I coupon and I pretty much, you know, for the most part know what I'm doing and I follow the rules. So they kind of trust me in that aspect of it. But when I go to a new store, they don't know me. So I do tend to run into more issues when I go to this other store. So basically part of it was my fault because um, I was doing the paper products with the Gillette and the Oral-B. And I think my subtotal for that was just over $35. Um, so I could use that booster. But I was using three different register awards and I totally overlooked it and didn't realize that one of those was a store register award, which that brings you under your spend threshold because it's a store coupon. Um, so I was not paying attention to that. So my mistake on that. So when she went to scan that spend booster for spend 35, it wouldn't take it because it said it was under the, um, under the threshold. So when she told me that, I kind of automatically realized where I'd messed up. So I said, oh my gosh, it's because one of the $4 register awards is a store register award, so I'm $4 short. And she goes, no, your subtotal is $11 after coupons, so you're way under that $35 mark. So I said, well, no, it's been $35 before manufacturer coupons and after store coupons. And she was not accepting my answer. She kept arguing back that no, it's after all coupons. And she was like, pretty positive that she was right on this. And I was trying very nicely to explain this to her. And I'm like shaking at this point because I don't like confrontation. I'm just not that kind of person. I'm a people pleaser. Um, I, I just like to be nice. <laughs> and I don't like to argue with people, especially cashiers. Um, so then she kind of looks over at another cashier at the other register and asks her and that cashier agrees with her and she's like oh no i've always been taught it's after all coupons so at this point i don't want to argue anymore because they're they're pretty positive that they're right so so i decided to add my almay makeup wipes to the transaction even though i knew it was going to cost me more out of pocket than what i wanted to spend but when you're at the register and something like this happens, you kind of just have to think quick. So I asked her, can we please add the Alme makeup wipes to the transaction and then try to scan it? And she goes, yeah, we can try, but you're still gonna be way under that $35 mark. And I'm like, can we please just try it? Will you please scan it for me and see if it works? So she's like, okay, and she scans it and then it works. And she's like, well, would you look at that? Um, so I thought that was kind of funny, but. When that happens, you know, just try your best to remain calm, be nice, try to explain it nicely. If there's a manager around, maybe ask to speak to a manager. And if they're really telling you no, just ask, can we just try? Can you please just scan it and see if it works? And that worked out well for me today. So, but yeah, my face was like probably beat red and I was shaking so bad. I hate those situations. So if you ever run into that, you're not the only one. It happens to me too. Okay, so with all of that being said, I'm gonna go home, lay everything out in the back of the car and go over all of our receipts for today. We have a pretty amazing haul. And I think, I don't wanna say for sure, but I think it might all be free. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this stuff out there and then we will go over everything. Okay, so first up you guys, I wanna show you the toilet paper deal that I did at CVS. I'm gonna include this in my CVS haul tomorrow, but I wanted to go ahead and put it in this video because it's a run deal and I don't know if it's still gonna be available to find anywhere tomorrow. So at CVS, the Oso oh Soft 12 packs of toilet paper are buy one, get one free. And so are these um, True Green four packs. So they're all buy one, get one free. You wanna check your CVS CRTs. I had one for buy one, get two free on the Oso oh Soft 12 packs. So basically picking up four of these since they're on sale, buy one, get one free, that makes two of these free. And then my CRT says I have to buy one and I get two for free, so that makes the other two free. So you pay $0 out of pocket for four packs of toilet paper. Then for the True Green, 
I had a buy two get three free. So for this CRT, you have to buy six packs because the buy one get one free sale is gonna give you three of these for free. And then your CRT gives you another three for free. So once again, zero out of pocket, didn't even have to pay tax. It just rang up as zero and then it printed the receipt. So run to your CVS, see if you can find these packs of toilet paper. Um, I think it also works for the oh so strong paper towels if you have that CRT, because I think they're also buy one get one free. Um, so yeah, check your CRTs, run to your CVS, and let me know in the comments if you find some. Shout out to Save with Nayla. I feel like I might be pronouncing that wrong. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, she's the one that posted this first on her Instagram. So thank you to her for sharing this deal. I'm so excited. I literally got toilet paper wasted today. Okay, you guys, so here's everything that we got at Walgreens today. I am so over the moon excited for this haul because it ends up being completely free for everything and a money maker. Can you believe that we got all these paper products for free and it made us money? Um, okay, so let's get right into it. I did three different pickup orders um, and then two transactions in store. So we'll go over the pickup orders first. Um, I already went over this deal with you in store. It was the Revlon eyelash curler and the tweezers. Oh my goodness, this deodorant keeps falling over. No, just stay put. Okay, you're going back there. <laughs> okay, let me find the Revlon receipt real quick. I have to like pin them under my clipboard because then the wind blows them everywhere. Okay, so here's the receipt for that. I'm not sure what's up with that weird pricing. They're buy one, get one half off. So the tweezers were $3.49 and then those rang up for $1.49 because they were half off. Then my digital coupon only took off $1.49 because... I guess it came off of the lowest price item and that was only ringing up for $1.49, so it lowered itself. So that left me to pay $3.49, plus tax, of course. Then I earned back the $4 register award for buying two. So that was a 51 cent moneymaker on that one. Okay, so now we're gonna go over the Icy Hot deal. So this is the one that I could not find in their store. This right here is priced at $6.99 online. Um, I don't know if it's more in store, so you might just want to order this for curbside pickup. So it's $6.99. There is a $2 digital store coupon and a $4 digital manufacturer's coupon. So those do stack together because one is a store and one is a manufacturer. So that leaves you to pay $0.99 cents plus tax out of pocket. And then there's an Ibotta rebate for $3 back. So I already scanned my receipt and I got the $3 back on that. And then I also had a 10 cent any pain reliever um, offer that stacked. With Ibotta, you can stack an any item rebate with like a regular manufacturer's rebate that is in their rules. So that's totally okay to do. So I got back $3.10 on Ibotta, making this a $2.11 moneymaker. So this is a hot deal. Okay, so then we have the Nivea deal. I was gonna show you guys this in store like I did the Revlon, but I didn't see any that they had in stock. So I'm just gonna explain it here and I'll pop up the screenshots. So basically Nivea is buy two, get back $5 in Walgreens cash. By the way, shout out to Save with Christina for posting this over on her Instagram because I had no idea about this deal. So they're buy two, get back five. And then there's also a promo code. If you type in Nivea, in all capital letters, you get $5 off when you spend 10 on Nivea. So this one was priced online at four, $4.49, and then this one was $5.84. So both of these brought me to $10.33. I typed in the code Nivea at checkout and it took $5 off. So that left me to pay $5.33. I did redeem Walgreens cash, so I only paid 33 cents plus tax out of pocket. And then I did, it doesn't say it on here, but I did earn back my $5 in Walgreens cash for buying two of them. So that makes it just 33 cents for both or about 16 cents each. Now check your digital coupons because I was on my mom's phone earlier and I was looking through her digital coupons that she got and she has a, it was either a $2 or a $3 digital coupon for the Nivea. So if you have that, that would make this a big money maker. Um, I didn't get that unfortunately, but 33 cents for two of these is still a pretty dang good deal. So definitely go online and try to snag some of these. Okay, and now for our big crazy transaction with the spin boosters. So with this transaction, I did the Charmin and the Bounty and then the Gillette and the Oral-B. 
And that's originally what I was just going to do in this transaction. I was going to do the Almay makeup wipe separately so I could roll um, a register reward and some points to have a $0 subtotal on that. But that obviously did not work out. So I ended up throwing in the Almay wipes in this transaction to throw me up over that $35 threshold. So let's go over this receipt. So here's our Almay wipes. Here's the Bounty and the Charmin, the Oral-B toothbrush, and the two Gillette. Then I added a couple caramels. These were just like filler items for register rewards to attach to. So here's my $4 store register reward. As you can see, it rings up as a store coupon. So that is where I kind of messed up on this because it brought me under $35 for this um, point booster right here. So she did scan it and it went through. This one is weird. This is my buy one get one free Gillette. I'm pretty sure she manually entered this, but she only entered it in as $5 instead of $5.49, which is what it should have taken off. I don't really know why she did that, but whatever. Then here's my $2 Oral-B, my $1 coupons for the paper products, my three off two Almay. Then I used a $4 and a $5 manufacturer's register award. So a total of $13 in register awards. And that left my out of pocket at $17.71 plus tax, which is kind of really high and definitely more than what I was planning on. But I did get back about, what, $9 in cash on Ibotta. And I already have money in there, so I'll be able to cash that out right away. So eh, it's not really as big of a deal. So paid $17.71, but adding in the 13 in register awards makes my subtotal $30.71. So I got back $13.40 in Walgreens cash, five for that digital spin booster, and then $8 for the paper one, and then 40 cents for just like the everyday earnings. Then I got back a $6 register award for buying the paper products, $4 for buying the Almay wipes, and then I did get back my $5 for the Gillette and Oral-B, but I used that on the next transaction, so can't really show you that one. But that's a total of $15 back in register awards. And then I submitted my receipt to Ibotta. Got back $3 for the Gillette plus a 10 cent any brand deodorant offer. And then $3 for the Almay makeup wipes. And then I had a 10 cent any item offer. So a total of $6.20 back on Ibotta, which makes this transaction free and a $3.89 money maker. Oh my goodness. All right, last transaction, I just did the Irish Spring Body Wash by itself so I could use points um, and kind of lower my out-of-pocket on this one. My three off two digital came off and then I used that 75 cent paper coupon. Then I also rolled my $5 register reward that I just earned from this deal right here to pay for it. So I paid $1.25 um, plus tax, rolled a dollar in Walgreens cash, and then I got back the $5 in Walgreens cash for buying three. So. This one was $1.25 plus tax for this transaction. Okay, so if you combine all of those transactions together, are you ready for it? Everything is free and a $4.93 money maker. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for today's haul. Even though we kind of had a little bit of a hiccup, it's fine, it worked out in the end. I paid a little bit of a higher out of pocket than I wanted to, but I got cash back on Ibotta, so it's gonna work out. So dang excited for this haul, you guys. So anyways, you guys, that is all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give the video a big thumbs up and leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you're excited for at Walgreens this week and what you're planning on grabbing. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. Die with my eyes